Hey, here we are again. Uh, today is August 2nd. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah kind of lost track of which, which day of the week it was. That's kind of scary. Um, almost midweek. That's good. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Because I've got, um, providing it don't get rained out, another calling for a potential possibility of rain on Friday, but I'm hoping it. I'm hoping they're wrong again, and or if it does rain, it rains early, and then by about five five thirty, it it's drying up. Cause um, the Eagles, the the premier Eagles tribute band known as Hotel California is playing in downtown Troy. So if you're close to uh, Miami County, you want to see some good music, um, head down to the square in Troy. Uh, again, weather permitting. I mean, I, I don't know what they're going to do. If it's like pouring out rain, they might move it someplace else. Um, so you can always check um, probably the main, the main Street. I think it's called Troy Main Street or Main Street Troy, one or the other, on Facebook. They'll probably uh, list it if it gets moved somewhere. Um, and then Saturday night, I'm going with a, a friend of mine, uh, uh, Rob. Um, he was the first one to speak up, so he was kind of the winner. For, uh, I had gotten two free lawn tickets to go see Rob Zombie, Corn, and In This Moment in uh, the Clips, I think it's how you pronounce it, Clips Music Center in Noblesville, Indiana. Um, he's the one, first one that spoke up. Um, and luckily for him, the one person that I had mentioned something about wanting to go see that show, um, even before I got tickets, um, they. Unfortunately, we had to go out of town for work um, all that week, or all coming up all this week. So um, they're actually leaving. I think they're leaving on Thursday night, and they won't be back till the following Thursday or Friday morning, uh, out of state. So they weren't able to go. So I got a hold of Rob and said, "Hey, dude, you know, known you for a while. So you're the first one to speak up. There you go." You got a free ticket to go hang out with me and uh, see Rob Zombie. So, that's where we're going Saturday. And I really don't care whether it's raining or not Saturday. I will stand there in the fucking rain to watch Rob Zombie. Uh, and I think I'm going to break down and get me one of those big gourmet burgers that, uh, uh, I can't remember the, the guy's name. The one chef he's got, he does the diners, drive-in and dives or something like that. I, and, uh, they got like his burger, one of his little burger stands inside the the, uh, the venue there at, in Noblesville. So I might have to break down. I mean, they're, they're kind of expensive, but hey, I'm sure it'll be worth it. Anyway, here I am. I'm hopefully, uh, I, depending on when you're watching this one, um, if you watch the other ones first, then disregard this, but... I'm actually going to work on trying to get videos, the ones that I'm like behind on, actually up. So if you're watching this one, hopefully the other ones are are up now too. There'll be three from from last month, and then uh, two I did so far for this month. And I'll warn you, one of the last one I just did clocked in at about 33 minutes. So make some popcorn, sit back, because I I kind of combine instead of doing a couple of different things. I combined a few things all together in one video. So, there you go. Anyhow, right now, uh, I'm here. Uh, this one should be the last one for this month. I got my comic block. Again, don't don't ask me what is supposed to be in it, because I don't know. I'm thinking Suicide Squad. But I could be wrong. But, you know, I think a lot of things, and I'm wrong a lot, too. So, I don't know whether it comes with the older age or whether it comes with just working out in the heat for you know, so many hours in a day or, or whether I just, just get a bad memory. Maybe I just have a bad memory. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, this is comic block. This is the comic block for July, even though it, it's August when I get it. It usually ships around the 25th of, of the month and then... I don't get it until the first or second of the following month. 
But we'll start with the shirt as we always do. Oh, I can tell already this one's going to be cool. Oh. Look at that. Take on Harley Quinn. Got the two bats that say good night, good night. Uh, you know what? I like that. I like that. And who the hell cannot like Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad, which premieres, I believe, this Friday, August 5th. Um, I'm thinking about going to see it at the theater, but I'll probably wait. I'll probably wait a week, maybe two weeks, depending on how long it's in the theater. Um, just because I know it's going to be outrageously packed, you know, at least the first weekend, if not the whole first week. Um, a lot of people are looking forward to seeing it, so I know I am too. I haven't been to the movies in a long time, so I might have to, to go. I, I think my daughter said something about maybe wanting to go with me to see it, so wait and see if the funds are there, and, and it looks like it's doing the lounge where we can go up and get a ticket without too much trouble. We'll probably go, but anyhow, that was a, obviously a Harley Quinn shirt. You gotta love that, right? Okay, I got a little box here. Um... Yeah, we'll just we'll just start because it's on the top. It's a Funko. The box is a little banged up on the bottom. But that's all right. No biggie. Oh, and here we go. And this this is Suicide Squad also. Cool. Here we have a Funko Pop of Diablo. Uh, there's the kind of little artwork for it. And then look at look at all the ones they have for Suicide Squad. Good it's gracious. You got the Joker, you got Harley Quinn, you got Deadshot, you've got Rick Flag, got Katana, Boomerang, Killer Croc, Diablo, another Joker, this one's the Princess one, I can't read what it says underneath it, but it's like, it's like a variant, it looks like a, I mean, not necessarily a variant, but it, Another one that's of the Joker. It looks like they got a few. They got a total of four of them that are the Joker. One is in it. He's in a tuxedo. I'm sure it's like all the different outfits that he has in the movie. Same with Harley Quinn. It looks like they got three different ones of her. You got two different ones of Deadshot. And then you got the Enchantress. And what I'm saying is, I, you know, a lot of times they'll do, they do variants of these, but they're not actually shown on the back. You know, the variants will have just some different paint scheme on them. It's like basically the same figure, but, you know, might like that, like blood or something like that. On it. So, <clears throat> that's cool. I like that. Next, we got a book. This is hardback book, The World According to Batman, packed with amazing special features. So, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little, look, it's got something else in here. Got a little card. called in, InsightEditions.com for a free catalog or newsletter. And it's got a thing to mail in to get free stuff. So I'm guessing that's what these are. These little books are Insight Editions. So you can get little books like this about your favorite things. And they show, they show two on here. There's Game of Thrones and, and Blackbeard. And then there's a couple other ones down there. Simpsons. I can't read what the other one is. <clears throat> but hey, that's pretty cool too. You have a little insight into the world of Batman. And we got comics, of course. This is a comic block exclusive a variant cover. You got Red Sony and Conan, as you can see the little uh, comic block icon on it. That signifies that it's a comic block variant. Uh, 
Dynamite Comics and Dark Horse. Issue 1. Alright, next. This is another movie that's going to be coming out here fairly soon. It actually looks really good. I just saw the new trailer that they, they listed for. It looks, looks pretty trippy. And of course, this has got, again, the comic block uh, logo on it. So it probably means it's a, a, also a variant issue. And it's the Doctor Strange Prelude. Uh, so this would probably be something worth... Uh, it's got the Marvel Cinematic Universe official tie-in stamp on it. A limited series, one of two. So, maybe I should try to find the second one. And then, uh, obviously kind of read those before we go see the movie. That one, I don't know whether I'll actually go to the theater and see the movie. I mean, I like going to the theater once in a while, but it's just, I mean, it's so damn expensive. And, and honestly, I, I personally think I get just as good, if not better, sound quality <coughs> in my home theater than they do at the theater. Plus, I get comfortable Pacific Palisar theater recliners. They're overstuffed leather. Uh, here, here's the thing. One of those little cards from Hello Fresh. And I kind of looked into that. I mean, it's I like I like the premise of this thing, but I'm guessing you know, if they're just going to be giving away fifty dollars off, then it's got to be fairly expensive. I ain't got money for that. So. Yeah, I'll keep this right here. Hey, maybe somebody else wants to use it. All right, I think the only thing left down here now is the, the little cards. Right. Here's the other uh, card for the shirt punch thing. I'm supposed to be collecting these. Yeah. Here's two of them. Eventually, they're supposed to all go together and make like a puzzle, and then you're supposed to be able to. Yeah. It says a new card delivered monthly. Collect the set to receive a $100 shirt punch gift card. So I mean, you could use them. They're they're each a $10 credit, so you could use them as you go along, or you can save them up and. I'm just gonna save them up and get a $100 gift card. Why the hell wouldn't you? All right, throw that into my ever-flying thing. All right, we'll look at what's coming next month here in a minute. Okay, here we go. This is what was in the box in case you were sleeping for the past few minutes or the past yeah, 10 minutes. It says presenting uh, Suicide Squad. Also included this month as a bonus variant comic. Okay. Well, we'll see what that what they mean by that. Suicide Squad Funko Pop. And it looks like the four you had to choose from were Deadshot, uh, Diablo, the Joker, and Harley Quinn. So cool. Alright, the world according to Batman or the Joker. Okay, so they had two of those books, two different ones. I got the Batman one. Experience the world through the eyes of the Dark Knight or enter the deranged world of the Clown Prince of Crime. Learn everything from fighting tips and how to land the perfect punchline. Doctor Strange, number one variant. This is a comic block exclusive. We're getting a little strange this month. Included in this month's block is an exclusive comic block variant for Doctor Strange, number one. Before the Sorcerer Supreme, he was Stephen Strange. And then, of course, we got the $10 shirtpunch.com credit. Here comes puzzle piece number two. Collect all nine to receive a $100 credit for shirtpunch.com. Get your additional fix of amazingly nerdy clothing. I mean, that is just kick ass. I mean, I mean granted, if you do the math, okay, each, each one of these comic blocks costs right around... I want to say it's like $25, $26, somewhere in there with shipping. Or Actually, I think now, I, I think actually it's closer to $30 with shipping. 
So you do the math, 30 times 9, that's $270. You know, to get the blocks. I mean, you get all that stuff, but then you're getting these. Okay, so you're, you're basically getting... I mean, it's like getting... Getting all the comic blocks, nine comic blocks for a hundred dollars less than what you normally would, because once you collect all these things and, and you know, once you collect all the the cards and enter the codes on them, you, you get a hundred dollar gift card for shirt punch. Yeah, I'm sold. And the Suicide Squad T-shirt, forcing the world's most dangerous supervillains to work together on a secret government mich mission. That will likely lead to their demise. Might be considered suicide. Put on the exclusive Suicide Squad shirt from Shirt Punch. And of course that's exclusive to the comic block. And I have to say that is a really kick-ass looking shirt. And of course the bonus variant comic that they don't list on here was the Red Sonja Conan one. Number one. So overall, I have to say, uh, Comic Block um, kind of knocked it out of the ballpark on this one. Uh, I haven't ever actually been like truly disappointed with Comic Block, even before when it was used to be the old Comic Block where you just got the three comics and like a small comic related thing and the shirt. Now they've kind of made it to where they include a lot more different stuff to more like your other blocks. Um, and I, I have yet to be disappointed. Sure, some some I've liked better than others. Um, but hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I was doing a little bit of an accent there. I don't know what it was. It just kind of came out. Maybe it's from a previous life. I don't know. But next month, we will be including exclusives from Suicide Squad, again, Guardians of the Galaxy, which there's probably a reason for that because I believe the new, the next uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie is due to be coming out <clears throat> not too long. I mean, I can't remember exactly when, but... And then... We want you to know that we're listening. Your August block will come with three comics, including Harley Quinn. Also, this month's comic block contains two exclusives. So, that's what's coming next month. So, if you like what you saw, you want to jump in, hey, go on, go on to nerdblock.com right now. Click on the comic block one. Sign up, and then next month you can get some exclusives from Harley Quinn, Suicide Squad, and Guardians of the Galaxy. That's it. Uh, I went through Taco Bell. I'm gonna. You know, I don't think I'm gonna actually work on putting these videos on tonight. So I was gonna say, you know, wait a few days, it'll be up, but. You're actually not seeing this until I put it up, so it really don't fucking matter, does it? But hopefully this Sunday, this this Sunday I'm hoping I'll have um, maybe some free time. I don't know. I might be doing something Sunday too. I, I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, kind of up in the air about it because I'm going to a concert. You know, Saturday night, and I probably won't be home till like one o'clock. So I'm not really sure I want to get up and then go spend the whole day walking around on on Sunday. Um, but anyway, um, one day soon I will get these videos. So when you're watching this, you're watching it, and hopefully it's it's not too far from August second. At the very least, I guarantee I'm going to have the all these videos will be on before I I put my next one on. So. That's it. Everybody, uh, have a good night. Say yeah. Uh...